Hey, hey everybody, Jason here and I'm back. And today on our Art of the Build video, we're gonna talk about some of the more advanced tools. Now, I've laid out a variety of tools I'm gonna take you through in just a few seconds, but there are two tools I really didn't mention. And if you watch the video before this one, you'll know what they are. It's an arm reamer and a rotary tool or a Dremel. Now, these aren't tools you absolutely have to have, but they can make your life so much easier. It's definitely worth looking into. Lots of you guys probably already have a Dremel or a rotary tool. And probably not that many people have an arm reamer. And if you don't have an arm reamer, that's okay. If you build your kit and there's no bind in the suspension, you don't need it. But if you do find that there's some, some bind in the hinge pins and in the suspension, and you don't have an arm reamer, a lot of times you can use a metric drill bit. A lot of these hinge pins are metric these days. So, all right, let's get on with some of the more advanced tools, and then we'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, what we have here is a little bit more advanced set of tools. This is pretty much everything you need outside of a Dremel and a soldering iron to get your kit built. And this includes a lot of the stuff here is actually even more for maintenance than just the flat out build. But let's go ahead and talk about what some of this stuff is. Here we have an assortment of drill bits from 1.05 to two millimeters and a little pin vise. This is really, really what you're gonna use this for more often than not is custom drilling pistons. And you can see I've made this little gadget here. This is actually a piston drilling jig and there's a piston that just press fits in there. And then this guide actually holds the drill bit completely vertical. That way you're not drilling pistons on an angle. When I made this a long time ago with my 3D printer and I'll be making more of these in the future. And then we have, of course, we have the MIP. These are the actual bits for the electric screwdriver. I've got a couple of different power screwdrivers, but I love my Makita's the best. I actually have two of these. So that when I go eight scale racing, I have one for a two mil and one for a two and a half. That way I can work more quickly. Here we have a ride height gauge. This is probably my favorite ride height gauge. There's a few different versions of this one out here. Guys have kind of made variations of it, but it starts at 20 and it goes to 30 and it's one millimeter increments for every click, right? Then you have a TLR slipper tool. And then this is a five and a half and a seven millimeter tool from Associated. And a lot of times when you can't get a normal nut driver into a specific you know, area, that thing works really good. If you do have room, then I really love this AK tool. This is a five and a half and seven nut driver and it works really really good over here we have a this is actually a soldering jig this is for soldering stuff and it actually will clamp down dean's connectors here in this groove and speed controls and of course different size for bullets this thing's super handy it's by much more it's not cheap it was about 39 bucks but it's small and compact and fits in my toolbox here we have a countersink bit and this just goes in a drill basically for countersinking you know pieces of plastic or carbon fiber really really works good it's really really sharp i believe can't remember where I got that, but if I can find a link to it, I'll put it in the description. Here we have the Synergy Boto Sizer, and this is obviously a ball cup reaming tool for the associated cars. It works really, really good, just in case you get a little dirt and grime in there, or you just have one that's just sized improperly. A good old fashioned pick for digging stuff and for, for you know, removing eclipse and things like that. This is a diff tool for adjusting the diff, for tightening the diff without taking the car apart for, an, for a, a TLR car, and I love that thing. That is save me so much time. And I, I'm one of those guys who I don't adjust my diff a lot, but uh, as I'm breaking them in and bringing them up to the tightness that I really like, I use this tool a ton. Of course, we have a camber gauge. This is an aluminum one that I believe is sold by Kyosho. Some tweezers. This is a small file set. Uh, right here, we have a little bit for breaking in tires on a drill or an electric screwdriver. That's sold by Gravity RC. An inexpensive temperature gauge. Um, I usually what I do is I buy an inexpensive temperature gauge and then I measure it against an expensive one to make sure that it's accurate because it, nothing sucks worse than either breaking or losing or lending out and never receiving back a temp gauge, especially an expensive one. And then we've just got some cheap drill bits that go in the electric screwdriver and those are for just making little holes for wires, opening up shock towers, things like that. But that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. This is pretty much the advanced tool set and basically between the first generation of tools, you know, the drivers, the nut drivers, X-Acto knives, and this, you'll be able to build a kit start to finish flawlessly so that it works well, is very responsive to setup changes, and just overall gives you a very consistent, reliable performance on the track. Hey, by the way, before you leave, I just want to say thanks again for watching my videos. I only make these videos so that we can have fun together. By the way, you'd be doing me a big favor if you could either comment, like, or even better, subscribe to my channel. Again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.